Hey folks, today I'm going to be doing a quick video on exactly how your old Mini Cooper's uh, heater core works. Um, well, your heater and your heater core. So to start off, there is a small radiator-like core located on the back side of your heater. And it's very small. I mean, this is only about, you know, maybe just under a foot square. There are many different kinds of cores. This, this heater is a very, very early heater off of a Mark I Mini. So the way this works is a pretty simple principle. Hot coolant is run through this heater core and that, that hot coolant actually warms the air that's pulled through it with this fan and that fan sucks the air through this heater core, warms it up, and pushes it out the different holes that run to the different devices on your Mini. So on an early Mini, you only have two output holes, one on each side that run to your defrosters. Then you have these output vents on the side which kind of push it out to your feet and then you have another vent which sits right on the bottom here and that pushes it just out into the foot bay as well and that's it that's the way these old minis heated themselves later minis had a few different features these uh these this fan compartment on the bottom actually could be open and closed and as far as i understand you can actually open and close these vented sides at sides as well it did have these defrosters here so that's pretty standard but otherwise, they didn't change much over the many years that the Mini was being produced. Now, the way this sits in your car, it sits underneath your dash in this orientation. This side right here, this one with the fan motor pointing out, this is what actually faces forward towards you and uh, your passengers. And this, the core, actually sits on the back side up close to the firewall. And what that does is it prevents your feet from burning it prevents you from getting your feet burned on the heater core because it runs really really hot even when you're not using your heater. Aside from that, that pretty much wraps up these heater cores. They're really simple, really easy to work on. If your core is starting to leak, you can find replacement cores at Seven Enterprises. They sell just about every core. Um, the one on this heater, I don't believe anyone carries anymore. It has two heater lines in line with each other. If you're looking for a core like this, you're going to have to find one that's new old stock uh, or that came off of someone else's car that doesn't have any cracks in it. Um, otherwise, uh, you can find replacement heaters and they're kind of uprated, nicer heaters. I believe Seven Enterprises sells that as well, um, but there are lots of other third party options as well out there. Um, so if you have any questions, feel free to post them in the comment section below. Otherwise, have a great day and uh, keep motoring on.